Hi, I'm going to explain how to use this GSM motor control. So once you receive the package, you will receive the GSM motor control and the antenna, the manual sheet will be there. So first, uh, you check what are the things is there in this. You need to give power supply here, 2 volts, AC or DC, you can use transformer or DC adapter, 2 volts, AC or DC. This is uh, off relay, on relay output. So normally for on relay, N1 common will be used. For off relay, N1, NC and common will be used. So NO is not used in off relay. You can utilize as per your purpose. First you install the SIM card. You push this yellow button. The SIM tray will come out. And install the SIM card. Fix the antenna and give the power supply. So once the power up of off relay just will go on and off. Power up, this is power LED, network LED, status LED. This will blink for every one second. If network is not connected, this is also blinking, status LED. Now the off relay is on. So once the network is connected, this will blink for every three seconds. Status will be LED will be continuous on. So now it is continuous on. Network is connected. If it is registered at startup, you will get a message like this for the master number only. Now in default, this will be in any mode. So in any mode, no need of uh, registration. You can uh, just directly you can call. So uh, so this will respond to calls, SMS, whatever. So first we will try calling. So it is responding without registration. You get SMS, feedback SMS. Pop on. So now it is working. Network is connected always. So, uh, so in startup, uh, so in any mode, this is working without registration. So this will uh, respond to all the mobiles. So we need to block that. So first you register the master number. Send command like this. One. S T N. So my number I am entering. You can enter your number, your mobile number. 1 STN followed by your number send to this number SIM number so you get a response once the registration goes over so number 1 stored now so uh, you can store like this uh, 1 STN is the master number so other numbers 2 STN, 3 STN, 4 STN, 5 STN, up to 10 STN will be slave numbers. You can store like this. So once the registration is over, so you can uh, block to other uh, register numbers using own mode. So it is in any mode. Own, for own mode, you need to have, uh, see the command sheet. So you need to send 4. send the command this will block all the mobiles only this will work for registered mobile numbers so all mode is activated now so you can from this number you can call and you can uh, utilize this so purpose of must number if anyone slave from slave numbers they are working to switch on the motor or something they will get an sms and uh, one sms will go to master number so that is the master number so master number can be used for owner. 
so other commands you can see the next command is auto mode on auto mode off so uh, by sending two you can uh, activate the auto mode on auto mode on is used to for startup while power up if power has gone means while power up in auto mode motor will go on automatically if you don't want you can switch off for using three so other commands uh, one mode four any mode five and mode one mode two mode one in mode one relay will be on for five seconds and then will go off in mode two relay will be continues on that is the purpose of this you can utilize that so next command on message you can uh, set as per your requirement you can uh, set the sms message to set your uh, value multiply so now the on message default will pop on for uh, on pop off for, for off you can set for any characters generate on generate off like that so next command c pass slave numbers to register in any mode so you can set just character c this will automatically register your number from other mobile numbers uh, star this is next is the balance check star auto and hash this for airtel if you set this command you will get the balance of your sim card next is status to check the status of the order yes t yes status if you send this message you will get the status of the motor response to sms received the sms status pump is in on condition auto mode is in on one mode is activated so that will work as per now so next command to switch on the motor through sms use m1 or m0 so now motor is on i will switch off using sms m0 if i said m0 motor will go off Now relay is getting on off relay for five seconds off relay off. so now you get sms pump off okay by using that you can do it so next command is on time on time you can fix the motor on time so for example if you fix on time is equal to 30 so 30 minutes will go on after 30 minutes boat will go off you can set up to 99 minutes next command by using call you can uh, switch on the motor and switch off so first dial first uh, first calling pump will go on second calling pump will go off So now it is in off. I am dialing now. Six rings for motor on. Three rings for motor off. Now it is in motor on. Now the motor is going on for after six rings. SMS also received. Pump on. Again, we are trying to switch off the motor by using the calling. Let's check. No need to disconnect automatically this will disconnect the call. One two. The number you have dialed is currently this. So into two rings or three rings, this will disconnect. So the, we can assume this motor is off. The relay is going on and off. So you receive the message, pump off. Thank you for watching. So if you have any feedback, please send a message. Bye.